an RCOH is what is required in order to bring John C. Stennis back into operational standards so that she could do the nation's bidding for the next 25 years. Uh, that responsibility is huge. The RCOH, which stands for the Refueling Complex Overhaul, is a once in a carrier's life maintenance period. The ship, due to its hull form and its capability, actually has the lifespan of about 25 years. So the beauty of an RCOH is that it's this gift of 25 years more of service, uh, and obviously it takes hard work to accomplish that, um, but that's the whole reason why we're here. It's the complete overhaul of the ship. You take it from coming from deployment and taking it down to nothing and building it completely back up. It keeps the life of the ship longer. It sustains our life of the ship for the carriers. It's important because people don't realize that sustainment is what actually keeps the fleet going. You have Newport News Shipbuilding and uh, they're the ones who are really the prime contractor who's executing uh, the vast majority of the depot level work. Ship's force ends up executing uh, about two million man hours of work as well, uh, which ends up being you know, roughly about a third of all work. So we're, we'll end up taking about 1,200 of our sailors and dedicating them to production teams and sport teams to also complete work. During the RCOH, John C. Stennis is going to set aside 22 production teams, their PM teams, and these teams are going to actually do a lot of the, the work throughout the ship to reset the material condition. We have a great team on Stennis. All the work that we're doing, it's all very much interconnected in this complicated process. Everyone has a role to play, and on the back end, if we do our job, we execute our production, we take care of our sailors, we get them trained uh, before we head back out, we're gonna come out as a terrific operational ship on the back end.